Hello everybody, Jessica here, Living Garden. Um, this is just going to be real short and sweet. I just thought um, I would show y'all something that made me happy when I came home today. Well, first of all, my I got some more beans coming up. There's more popping up right in there. There's like two rows in there. They're bush beans. They're just, you know, but this is what made me happy when I came home. Dun, 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 dun. I got those. Looks like I got male and female. Male and female um, buds. It's like one of the, I don't know which one's which. I, I, I do know, but I'm just like brain dead right now or something. But uh, those ones have the possible fruities. Those ones don't. So um, I, I'm totally digging this, and I'm seeing the same thing over here. So that makes me happy because last year I had several plants that only had the one sex of green on them, which kind of bummed me out. But I know there's a lot of contributors to that and it could be pesticides or all that kind of junk. But anyway, those worms weren't on there this morning. They were they were there, but they were not even close to that open. So today's weather just must have been pretty, pretty awesome. Now the question is to let nature pollinate or hand pollinate myself just to ensure now, um, I've never grown these kind of, these potatoes before, so when they start yellowing like that down there, in like this, doesn't that mean it's, I mean, they're starting to, I mean, they're blooming. As you can see, they're all getting, that one just fell off, like this. So doesn't that mean they're starting to kind of be done? I mean, I don't know. Somebody help me with that. <laughs> I don't know. Please comment below. Let me know. I'm a new potato -er, so I was used to buy mine from a, another a fellow gardener. What is that? I don't know. But these beans are all uh, blooming. And these are the weirdest bugs. They look like little hard hats or something. Let me see if I focus in on it. Uh, of course not. Not when I wanted to. They're like little flat slickety things. I don't know what they are. They do fly. <laughs> I just flick them off, but um, I'm not sure what they are. But yeah, I've got all kinds of beanies, bloomies, and all kinds of little itty bitty tomatoes coming. But anyway, I just want to show you my zucchini blooms. Uh, short, sweet video. That's all that was in my new beans coming up. And I will start digging my my new, uh, making another hoogle mound. I'm, I'm just going to continue this one on out. Uh, probably about the same length that one is. So probably to about right there. Tomorrow. And then I'm going to have another one. Probably. I don't know. If I'm going to put it out here in the middle. I Probably not. I might just go right down there. I really don't want to get too close to the front though. Or I might just do one set right here next to this one. But why not take advantage of the space I have. So I could do actually finish that one out and then do another one there and another one here. And that could be my space. And, uh, and I'll be happy. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. Then I have a small one right there, which I have um, garlic growing in plus two zucchinis. So uh, I did manage to get my bird feeders fed back, filled back up. I hear a woodpecker. I'm trying to see it, but I'm not seeing it yet. I will find it though, it's probably way up there. And then he's going away at it. I'll find him probably in the morning. I'll sit out here and watch. <laughs> Anyway, okay, sorry about that. Um, Y'all have a blessed day, and uh, enjoy life. Bye.